Hello everyone. My name is CMA Pankhtimani. Welcome back to CMA Modules. In this chapter, in this video lecture, we will be going for sum number four. So always it is a rule. Start with balance as per cash book instead of balance as per bank book. In this question, they have given us balance as per cash book. So it is mandatory for us to start with balance as per cash book. So what is reconciliation statement? Reconciliation statement means they have not given us uh, exact details of cash and bank. So I am an accountant. I am sitting in the office. I don't know a customer who has directly deposited into bank. So what I am supposed to do is I am supposed to uh, cross check bank statement and my accounts and I am supposed to find out if there is a difference then that difference is for what that I will find out. Okay. So that I can do it with the help of reconciliation. So opening balance of cash book is already given to me in the statement last in the question last uh, line out of 82,000 paid in by check into bank on 25th March checks amounting to 30,000 were collected on 5th April. So 30,000 checks were not collected. They were collected little late. So this 30,000 checks, this 30,000 uh, checks are needs to be deposited okay they have not been they they have not collected it so unless check deposited on 25th march so that is not your income in the month of march that is not your income so you cannot take that amount as income so you will have to remove that so less 30000 then you have uh, next out of checks drawn amounting to rupees 31,200 on 28th March a check for 10,000 was presented on 3rd April. So out of checks drawn amounting to rupees 31,200. So out of check draw, checks drawn amounting to rupees 31,200 on 28th March a check for rupees 10,000 was presented on 3rd April. So we have 31,200 and out of that what we did we, we um, uh, uh, presented check only for 10,000 out of checks drawn amounting to 31,200. So this was not considered a payment and we, we, we calculated it as payment. So we'll have to add it back. Okay, we'll have to add that amount, amount back. So check amounting to rupees 10,000. I'll have to add that back. So 10,000. A check for rupees 4000 entered in the cash book but omitted to be banked on 31st March. So I have a check for rupees 4000 entered in the cash book but omitted to be banked on 31st March. So 4000 it was it was not an income till 31st March it is not my income. So check as on 31st March. They, they completely omitted to write that uh, to consider that so that is my 4000 then I have next one a check for rupees 2400 deposited into bank but omitted to be recorded in cash book so 2400 they completely omitted to record in cash book and was collected by the bank on 29th March they completely omitted to record it okay so we have a check for rupees 2400 deposited into bank but omitted to be recorded in cash book so we have to record that as on 29th march it was not recorded so we have to record so check it was deposited into bank but it was not formed part of our cash book income so you will have to form part of the cash book income so check deposited into bank but not recorded in cash book so that is 2400 then you have bills receivable for 2080 previously discounted with the bank and had been discounted but advice was received on 3rd april so we have bills receivable uh, previously discounted with the bank and had been dishonored so we discounted with the bank for 80 rupees and then it got dishonored on 3rd april so this dishonored uh, this uh, uh, bills receivable this entry we are supposed to we have cleared we have passed that now we'll have to 
pass dishonor entry so check got dishonored discounted bill receivable dishonored but not recorded in cash book so that is 2080 then we have a bill for rupees 40000 was retired or paid by bank under a rebate of rupees 600 so we have a bill and that bill was paid and retired and we got 600 but the full amount of bill was credited in the bank column of cash book so a bill was retired of of 40000 was retired and paid by bank under a rebate of 600 so this 600 was also taken into account we are not supposed to take this 600 into account we got a discount okay we got a discount of 600 so we are not supposed to take 600 into account so please add this back so we have not made a payment of 600 so please add back your rebate rebate on bill not entered in cash book so you will have to work for your rebate then you have a check of rupees 10000 wrongly credited in the pass book a check of 10000 is wrongly credited in the pass book on 29th march and was reversed on 2nd april okay so wrongly credited in the pass book and it was reversed on 2nd april bank had already debited 20000 in the account on 31st march and reversed it on 10th april so we have a bank had already debited 20000 in the account so we have two entries wrongly credit and wrongly debit so wrongly credited so we'll have to add that back wrong credit 10000 and wrong debit will have to subtract wrong debit we will have to subtract minus 20000 a check of rupees 800 drawn on savings account has been shown as drawn on current account in cash book check of rupees 800 drawn on savings account has been shown as drawn on current account in cash book so we have check drawn on savings bank account but wrongly it was drawn in cash book wrongly it was shown as drawn on current account in cash book so wrong entry is passed here so it is of 800 rupees okay if i add it up i'll get 23800 here so basically what i did expenses uh okay, let me sum it up so what i did here is whatever was entered wrongly that i corrected so suppose it was if it was debited wrongly in my pass book so i have to uh make a reverse entry in my cash book so basically cash book and pass book works in a opposite way so here ideally you should have received a balance as per bank pass book and then if you if you work on this sum you will get balance as per cash book so your sum would have been simple here we have made it little complex so we started with cash book so we are supposed to think from cash book point of view it was not included in cash book so add in cash book it was not 
it was included in pants book wrongly so there if you subtract then here you have to add i hope you are clear with this sum so 126000 uh, is my balance as per cash book let me go for next question sum number 5 so here on 31st jan 2022 sethi's cash book showed a bank overdraft of 250 on comparing with the past book the following differences were noted so they have shown a bank overdraft of 250 so you will have a balance brought down here instead of debit you will have a credit balance so by balance brought down 250000 then you have uh, next one is cash and check amounting to 26800 was sent to bank on 27th jan but checks were checks worth 4600 were credited on 2nd feb and one check for 900 was returned by them and dishonored so you have next entry of cash and check amounting to 26800 so okay then you have during the month of jan sethi sethi issued check worth rupees 33400 to his creditors out of these checks worth rupees 27400 were presented for payment on 5th feb according to sethi's standing orders the bankers have made the following payments during the month of jan so we have life insurance premium television license fee sethi's bankers have collected rupees 3000 as dividend on his shares interest charged by bank is rupees 2500 bills receivable of rupees 2000 discounted with the bank in december 2021 was dishonored on 31st jan 2022 you are required to ascertain the amended cash book balance as on 31st march 22 prepare a bank reconciliation okay so we have bank reconciliation statement and we are supposed to prepare cash book statement so for cash book statement here they are asking us to go for bank column also two column cash book why two column cash book the reason is uh, uh, otherwise we can go for one column also cash and check amounting to 26800 majority transactions are related to bank even the opening balance is related to bank overdraft so we can go for uh, uh, this uh bank tra- bank column only bank column transaction uh, format is fine so that part is done so i went for opening balance then what i did i have uh 26800 and this two entries related to my reconciliation okay 26200 26800 and uh, uh 27400 these two entries are related to my reconciliation i'll go for according to sethi standing orders uh, 3840 rupees uh 2400 3000 all these transactions were made so let us clear these transactions so what happened is by drawings i am making 3840 plus 2400 6240 then i am making a uh, interest of 2500 by interest 2500 then i have so these bankers have collected 3000 as dividend on his shares so we have collected 3000 as dividend so we have income okay we have collected dividend so we have income and that income is 3000 then we have interest charged by bank 2500 interest charged by bank is 2500 that's an expense then we have debtors 
bills receivable of rupees 2000 discounted with the bank in december 2021 and was dishonored as on 31st march so we have a bill bill discounted with bank and bill discounted with bank is 2000 so this much part is done whatever was income and expenses relating to my bank entry that I completed so what I'll do is I'll total it up I'll get my total 260740 260740 if I total this up now 260740 minus 3000 I'll get 257740 to balance carried down as on 31st March 31st March or 31st and whatever is the date okay so this much part is done now what I'll do is I'll complete my entries related to bank reconciliation so we have a bank balance so what I'll do is I'll bring bank balance from above bank balance 257740 okay I bought this from above now what I did is I went for these two A and B transactions so if you see uh, for A and B transactions check were deposited see cash and check amounting to 26,800 was sent to bank on 26, 27 Jan but checks worth rupees 4,600 and uh, were, were credited on second and one check 900 was dishonored so we made entry of entire 26800 but 4600 and 900 they were not having effect on in the month of jan they were having effect subsequently so we will have to we will have to give effect of checks deposited deposited but not credited so we had taken that as income that is not my income so uh, 5500 rupees I'll have to add it back okay we had taken that as income that is not my income then what I'll have to do is then I have second entry what is my second entry during the month of Jan Sethi issued checks worth rupees 33,400 to his creditors out of these checks worth rupees 27,400 were presented for payment on 5th Jan 5th Feb so we have 33,400 uh, were issued to his creditors out of these checks worth rupees 27,400 were presented for payment on 5th Jan so we have 33,400 minus 27,400 so we have 6,000 okay so uh, no no out of this checks worth rupees 27400 so entire 27400 was not presented okay so what i'll have to do is it was not presented for payment so i'll have to subtract this so now if i work out i'll get my answer as 2,35,000 check issued but not presented okay done. so we completed a uh, cash book chapter sums here I hope the chapter was clear to you if any doubts please let me know thank you